Aaron DJ LeMay, who's still not in the lineup, any update on his status overall? Um, no, I mean, he's, he's kind of waiting second opinion. Um, talking to him today does feel like the last couple of days being down has helped him. So I'm hopeful for tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. What are the options there? Because he did have a cortisone shot during the All-Star break. You had mentioned the orthotics. Is yeah. there anything else? That yeah, so be- he started taking medicine. Uh, they're doing some things, you know, orthotics and shoe-wise, like that hopefully kind of put him in a good position to create a little bit of relief. So, uh, you know, hope, hope, hopeful uh, on something tomorrow. When, when do you get to the point where you feel as though you can't play short when you need to make a decision? Yeah, we'll probably make that decision sometime tomorrow or the next day. Um, of saying, yeah, it's beneficial to take the next now seven days or so, or, or we're ready to go. So, and I really don't have a, a lean either way on it other than I'm holding out some hope that he, he can be in there tomorrow. You have, uh, Gonzalez in right field judge in center field tonight. Will we see Marwin in right a little bit more considering the way Hicks is kind of struggling? Um, not necessarily, you know, I got Lo Castro over there. We'll continue to talk roster and stuff, um, each and every night. Um, but just felt like I wanted to get Marwin in there tonight and hopefully provide a little bit of a spark, uh, for us. June all the way to the left. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Garrett last night said that the team needed a spark. For you, what does a spark look like? Points. You know, we just need a score right now. It's been a challenge for us, obviously, over the last week. Um, you know, we've had some games where we've had opportunities. We haven't been hitting the ball, ball out of the ballpark as much as we normally do. So on those games where you do get people on base, and we've had a handful of them, even though – you know, we've we've had definitely a, a few where we've been shut down, and haven't had much in the way of opportunities. Last night we had a couple good opportunities. You know, I think back to the first game against Evaldi in Boston where we didn't score a bunch of runs, but we had a lot of opportunities in that game to, you know, break it open. You know, we got to take advantage of those. And, and that's, you know, somebody, you know, getting a big hit in a big spot, a ball bouncing your way. You know, a, a, a good play on the bases. Sometimes a, a great defensive play can spark something. So we just got to, you know, focus on trying to, you know, win pitches, win at bats, and, uh, you know, and, and know we'll break through. There's a lot of moving pieces right now in the clubhouse between new guys coming in and guys who are injured. Um, how do you kind of manage a, the, the culture of a clubhouse as – there's a bunch of just things happening all at once on top of where the team is from a production standpoint. It's consistency. It's who we are. Um, you know, we try and talk about it, but try and live it all the time that no matter what's going on in the course of the season, you know, we try and remain, we're human, you know, so we're, you know, we, things are going great. There's usually a little, it's a little easier to, crack a smile and a little pep in your step. And when you're scuffling or getting beat up, it's a little harder. But that said, we try and create a consistency of coming in, working, preparing. How are we going to beat this guy? How are we approaching this guy, this team, this lineup? Um, So not much changes in that regard. And, you know, I, I think our guys do a good job of that. Michael. Aaron, yesterday um, Hicks seemed – really down and distraught after the game. Maybe that's not the right word. Is he a playable player for you right now, or is it best to just let him sit for a while? <clears throat> yeah, he's a playable player. I mean, he has to be, you know, especially potentially being short if not having DJ on the bench today. So, yeah, um, you know, he and I have spoken and um, try and support him. You know, yesterday was obviously a very difficult day. It's a, been a difficult stretch and season. Um, that's all part of it, and we got to – you know, kind of rally around him and get him prepared and in the best <clears throat> space that we can to, to help us win a game. Do you sense that he's lost faith in himself, and have you lost faith in him? I don't I don't know that lost faith in himself. I think frustrated and, you know, searching for answers about, you know, his struggles and his season a little bit. So, and, <clears throat> and definitely sensed his... Um, 
you know, disappointment, sadness yesterday, and, you know, he's wearing that. Um, so, um, you know, that uniform's heavy for him right now, and it, it is for different people at different times throughout the year in different ways. So you try and tap into that and support that and, and uh, get them ready as best you can.